I just wanna give good vibes. 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 That's all I want. I just wanna give good vibes. 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 That's all I want. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I don't know already. It's your girl Kelly, and I'm hoping that you guys are getting looks. I'm trying a African dish, guys. I'm just hoping and praying and wishing that it comes out right. All right, guys. So my fire is on. Onions in here. Here with my handy dandy spatula. But something tells me that this oil stains and I have on pants that I shouldn't have on. What I have on underneath here? Okay, I think I'm going to put this on underneath. So at this point, I normally sit and put a crayfish in there. And I couldn't find them, which is crazy because I live in New York City. But... I have some fish seasoning. So hopefully the fish seasoning, put a little fish seasoning, a little bit of ginger. I cook with ginger and all my food, guys. Got ginger good for you. Oh my goodness, guys. When I was in the store, I was looking for the palm oil. I was went to a few places. Oh my god. Palm oil? Palm oil ain't cheap. Ooh, I went to this place. I didn't think they would have it. Now look up Mr. Palm Oil. I got no because I was like, I want to get that authentic flavor, you know? Like I'm Oh my god, there's a restaurant guys. If you live in New York City guys, there's a restaurant called Okra. It's in Harlem. I sent my daughter to go get the food for me. The little girl ended up eating the food. The four line guys by BCC. It's called Okra. Try it out. It's delicious guys. So I put a little fish seasoning in there. I'm hoping that it's sufficient. Although I don't think it's supposed to over season it. But you know Jomia can win the MNO. So this is... The sweet pepper. This is the sweet pepper, tomato, red onion. Although I think I would have liked everything blend out. Like I wanted everything blend out, but it's all good. Because I just want to taste, see if I can replicate the flavor. Because right now I can't get to that restaurant. I wish I could, guys. This thing's going on in New York right now. Y'all don't know. But the recipe calls for us to boil the um food. But I'm, I don't know if I should boil it because... All right, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and boil it. I did not add scotch bonnet pepper to the puree, guys. I have it here. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should have uh, puree some of the scotch bonnet. And I don't put enough because it's a real scotch bonnet, you know. So there you go. Scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet pepper hot. I could not find no habanero. I don't know if I wasn't looking right. I don't know. You're supposed to cook it first. I think you cook it all the way first. But these are boneless. So, you know, guys, this is going to cook really, really quick. You know what? I'm thinking to myself, I should cook it. But, you know what, guys? I decided I'm actually going to boil it. So, I'm going to boil it and then I'm going to come back. Okay, guys. So, here I'm boiling my boneless pork loins. And now I'm going to get back to my base sauce. And um, guys, I'm not a professional. I just watched a few videos and a few Instagram stuff. And, you know, so actually I forgot to put my garlic in there. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of minced garlic. Actually, you know what? Next time I'm going to blend out everything together. Don't know why I didn't think about that. Gingery, garlic, garlic, garlicky, and herby. Let me turn down my TV. Every video that I watch, they put bullions in, but this is the only one I have, so this is what I'm going to use. These things are loaded with salt, guys, so I'm not going to use the whole thing. I I'm not even going to cap to you, because them salt, man, them full of salt. Yep, so that's what I see them do. I'm going to do this. I'm supposed to crunch it up. Ooh, a little hard crunching up this. Ooh. guys so i just hope that i'm doing it right go ahead and get my um my boneless pork loins i boiled them for 10 minutes guys because you know when something is boneless it don't take long to cook guys so you know oh, let me tell them something there is insinuating circumstances right now guys trust me 
there's a lot of things going on in New York City right now. Y'all know what the plan is. So I figured, listen, there's one more piece left in here. Did I get all the pieces? I'm just going to use a little bit of this water. Just a little because it's some seasoned. It's seasoned. Um, let me go ahead and put it all up in the sauce. And I put a beef. That's not a beef bullion. I put a chicken. It was a chicken bullion. And... I don't know if they put thyme in there, guys, but honestly, so I got some dried thyme here, guys, but I'm not going to put a whole sprig. These are the thyme that I dried myself, guys, okay? No. So... This has to cook down, but you can know, guys, that this already cooks down on its own. Mm -hmm. Put the broth in. sure that the pork is totally cooked and guys when i picked it up i was looking for um you know i don't mess with beef beef and i really was looking for goat i'm not a, a lamb eater either i just want to make sure that this is fully cooked out and then once i know that it's fully cooked out i'm gonna go ahead and put the okra in there oh, i think the first one doesn't see maybe somebody just simmer so i'm gonna just bite into one of them guys just to make sure that it's fully cooked but it has to be because it's boneless Boneless stuff tend to cook quicker. Yeah, it's cooked. It's cooked. Now that we know it's cooked, I'm going to go ahead and put in my okra. I blended it out. I did one whole pack. The whole thing of okra in here. I'm just going to go ahead. As you can see, there's some pieces of okra in there that I didn't blend out all the way because um, I had this soup before, guys, and I like to see pieces of it in there not fully blended out. Mm -hmm. This is giving real slimy. Just adding a little bit more chicken broth because it's a soup. So after all, I do want it to have a little bit of um. This is my first time making it, guys. I did make a big portion because I don't know if I gotta rectify it. But either way, honey, it's getting eaten. I haven't even tasted it to see if um if it needs anything else. So I guess at this point, to add some spinach, but I don't have any spinach, guys. So. I'm going to add some baby kale. And it's frozen, so. Okay, guys, I don't want to cook out the okra too long because if you cook out the okra too long, you're going to take out all the nutrients. And that's not what I'm trying to do. I, I feel like it needs a little bit more broth, guys. I don't know. So, this may not be the way to do it. Chicken stock. Because I think when people do it, they say, like, cook it for five minutes. Right, it's giving it, so now I'm getting the soupy texture that I want. All right, guys, so right now I'm going to put a little bit of, this is the kale, because this is all I got, guys, so I'm putting in here. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just gonna taste it now, guys, because I don't I didn't taste it as I went along. Hopefully it's spicy enough. Mmm. It's really tasty. Put in some more scotch bonnet pepper. This is something that's not normally done, but add a scotch bonnet pepper. Because when we cook Jamaican food, we normally put a whole pepper in there. But it needs a little bit more spice. So you have to taste as you go along, guys. So I'm cooking out all my okra, which I'm really sad at because, you know, that's not really what I wanted to do. Also, guys, I have some shrimp. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in here. Guys, I'm also going to throw a little bit of hot pepper sauce. I know this is not how they do it, but honestly, you have to throw your little... We have to, I have to throw my little spin on it because it's spicy. Come on, I like, I like that little spice the way it has. All right, I'm going to wash off my spoon. All right, Lord, thank you for this food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I eat this. All right, guys, if you love my video, listen, don't be afraid to try new cult. Girl, listen, we got to get back to Africa. We got to get back to our roots. Don't be scared to try something new, guys. Don't fuck about what people say no more. Because everybody going to fucking critique everything that you do, no matter what you do. That shit will creep into your mind, no matter if you believe it or not. It's wasted energy. Yeah, it's wasted energy.